Hello, today I'm going to show you two ways that you can approach split note playing on the harmonica. This is often referred to as split octaves, although they're not always octaves. It's a tongue blocking technique that involves blowing air out of both sides of your mouth to play two single notes together, like this. Get a nice thick sound out of it. I've got today a G harmonica, but it doesn't really matter what harmonica you use for this exercise. Soon I'm going to be releasing a tutorial for a solo harmonica piece that involves a lot of split notes, so I thought maybe first I should just do a quick video explaining what it is and showing you different ways you can approach it, especially if you don't really know a lot about it. So here's the first approach to split note playing. This one I'd recommend if you can already play a nice clear single note on the harmonica with tongue blocking. If you'd like to learn how to do that, I've got a couple of videos about how to approach this. It's on a tongue blocking playlist, so here's the playlist here. Check them out. So I'm going to start by tongue blocking a nice clear single note on four blow. And then I'm going to maintain that, that position so that air stream still goes into the four blow, but I'm going to move the harmonica slightly to the right, move my head slightly to the left, all the while maintaining the air stream out of the right side of my mouth until that another air stream kicks in on this side. So it sort of involves, once you can get that nice single note, you kind of don't move your tongue at all, but move the hum, maybe move the harmonica a bit, move the mouth a bit, until your mouth starts to form a gap on this side as well. So you might get a better idea of this if I demonstrate it. So here we go, I'll start with four blow, and then you'll hear one blow coming to life. I'll do it again and I'll just move back and forth so you can go from single note to two notes. It's really subtle. So you just got to maintain that airstream this side and then just work on that other one coming to life the other side. Here's the second approach. This is a good one if you're a lip purser and you're not really too sure about tongue blocking. So what we're going to do here is we're going to blow a big chord. We're going to go one, two, three, four blow. Just going to blow a big G chord on this G harmonica here. And then I'm going to bring my tongue down and I'm going to move it around until it's in the right position. And when it's in the right position, you'll just hear the two notes one blow and four blow just coming to life. So here we go. I'll do that again. You would have heard maybe as I brought my tongue down, instead of getting one blow and four blow playing together, I was playing three and four blow together. So my tongue was too much over to the left hand side of my mouth. So I just kind of moved my tongue over a bit, it blocked that three blow hole and still kept the four blow going and then it just moved it enough just to form a gap on this side of my mouth for the ear to come in and flow into one blow. So the thing about tongue blocking in general I think and split note playing in particular is that it's all about maintaining a really strong tongue and mouth position. Once you can get that position right you don't want any random movement either with your tongue or with your mouth you just want to lock it in and when you do that then you can move around the harmonica like this. 
And that's what the tutorial I referred to earlier, the one I'm going to release soon, that's what it's going to be about. It's going to be about split note playing and moving around the harmonica. So keep a lookout for it. It's a good old tune and I think you'll like it. Bye for now. Thank you.